orientation started around a week before our uh, joining date so first they were just interacting with all the professors they were going to teach that were going to teach you uh, so there are couple of sessions uh, you know to network with professors and like former students uh, there was uh, another one of the day was just like a kind of a class outing they took us to one of the uh, nearby park for like a uh, networking sessions with uh, like not just there was not just international uh, like influencer system students but it was like across different disciplines there was MBA, there were mba students marketing students everyone that is another uh, like an opportunity to grow your network uh because that's what they keep on mentioning like grow your network 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 and that actually helps you at the end of the year when you when you're looking for jobs and uh, internships so around so we were like our oh, total intake was 90 right so out of 90 80 were indians around 5 were from uh, china and other 5 were americans so okay. that was pretty much our class uh, it was very uh, is a mix so some of my friends they had like one year of one year of work experience mm-hmm. uh, there wasn't anyone who had no like no work experience there were like minimum was like one year to there were people who had like 6 7 years of work, work experience campus has like everything that you can ask for uh, our rec center is really amazing so you, so we used to go some we used to go for swimming uh, swimming or just rock climbing or anything sometimes but not much really and there are like different like fc cincinnati is like soccer team plays on uc's campus so there are like football matches and like american football matches and soccer matches every weekend so you can we used to go th- for those as well uh, so yeah that's how we used to spend our time on weekends uh, but most of the time like most of the times you'll have like we had time on weekend we used to spend like with each other like you know knowing each other more so ms and information systems is at least at university of cincinnati it's a proper mix of technical and business courses so it prepares you for a job where you're going to uh, interact with the business and a lot of different stakeholders but you you're going to have you need to have some sort of technical knowledge to understand what's going on so mm-hmm. typically uh, you will have 50% of your uh, curriculum will be your technical subjects so there will be data uh, some uh, subjects related to database and data analytics and uh, business process modeling and other 50% would be more management subjects so it'll be uh, project management marketing basics of finance so at the end of your program you will be like very well equipped to go and talk to not just recruiters but even to managers and your sen- uh, seniors and your alumni and have a good like a sensible conversation with them that will tell them that hey this guy can fit into our company and know what he like he knows what he's talking about but all it that happens usually only in second semester they where they have some options but if you want to go outside of those options and you you can make a case for that on why you want to take that course you can go to, go and talk to program director and they are usually pretty open about it so that's a good thing uh 42 or 43 credits so in first year you finish most of your credits in your first year first uh, so that's around 34 to 36 credits okay. and your second year is basically only 6 months so that you get two credits for your internship your co-op mm-hmm. uh and then there are like couple of small subjects which are like one one credit here and there it was uh, it depends uh, so some of the people who took some very technical subjects for them it was very difficult to maintain gpa because those professors were very demanding so our erp professor and our project man- is project management professor he was those courses were very difficult as i mentioned and to get a good grade in those subjects was difficult uh, there were a couple of other subjects inside the data analytics program as well that were so data analytics certification track as well that were difficult but if you like if you prepare well it's not very difficult to get a good gpa so when i say good gpa i mean about 